welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Aisha Ibrahim. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and cabin, a captain of the Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, won the title of the World Endurance Championship in the UAE, which came as a result of the strong will and determination of His Highness to reach the highest ranks of excellence in the endurance sports. More in this report. 23 years of achievements on the regional and international levels achieved by the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and captain of the Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The latest achievement of His Highness was winning the World Endurance Championship title in the UAE, an achievement that adds to the series of achievements of the Kingdom of Bahrain in the sports field in general and the endurance sport in particular. The achievement came thanks to the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, which motivated His Highness to achieve the best result. His Highness went into the championship with full confidence, carrying a responsibility to raise the status of the kingdom on the global level in a fierce competition that witnessed the participation of 126 riders from 36 countries around the world. This accomplishment is not just for His Highness, it is also for the leadership, the kingdom and its people, and the people of Bahrain expressed their utmost happiness with this achievement. His Highness Sheikh Nasser is the leader for the Bahraini youth and is a model to be followed by all people around the world. His Highness's successes proves the strong status of the kingdom in international participation, and his successful march is proof. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Al Saleh, delivered a speech during a commemoration of the late Sheikh Dr. Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, hosted by the Alumni Club. Al Saleh described the late Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa as the embodiment of the values and principles of Bahraini society, noting his keenness on achieving His Majesty the King's vision of spreading peace and tolerance in the world. He noted that the deceased was an extraordinary figure whose efforts and achievements will always be remembered and will remain a source of pride for the kingdom. Under the patronage of the Minister of Works, Jamil Ahmedan, the 8th GCC Forum for Human Resources opened, which focused on developing human resources. The Minister affirmed that such forums are important in developing the human resource sector that continues to witness rapid changes, thanks to technologies and many other sectors. He stressed the importance of benefiting from international experiences and enhance government and private efforts in order to meet the current and future needs of the labour market. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Zayani, delivered a speech during his participation in the 52nd UN Human Rights Council High Level segment held in Geneva. The Minister affirmed that Bahrain is always keen on respecting human rights, civil, political, economic, social, and cultural freedoms, protecting their dignity without discrimination in terms of gender, origin, language, or religion, as an established approach and in the intellect of His Majesty the King with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. As Ayani noted that Bahrain fulfilled its com commitment to its international human rights obligations through transparently and effectively discussing the fourth national report within the Universal Periodic Review, its report to the Committee on the Elimination of Racial Discrimination and the fourth report on the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women, CEDAW. He expressed Bahrain's aspirations to present the second voluntary national review report on sustainable development goals to the UN Economic and Social Council's high-level political forum. The minister noted that Bahrain prioritizes human rights, insecurity, justice and sustainable development. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also met with the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights, Volker Turk, on the sidelines of the 52nd UN Human Rights Council high-level segment. The Minister praised the constructive and joint cooperation between the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights, stressing that the Kingdom of Bahrain places the promotion and protection of human rights among its priorities, under the directives of His Majesty the King and the directives of the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. 
Turk praised the bilateral cooperation, especially in the field of human rights, and wished Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani, attended a reception ceremony hosted by the permanent representative of Kuwait to the UN in Geneva, Nasser al -Hin. On the occasion of the 62nd anniversary of Kuwait National Day and 32nd anniversary of the Liberation Day. The minister congratulated the ambassador and the members of the embassy and wished Kuwait its leadership and its people further progress and prosperity. He praised the strong historic bilateral relations and the continuous cooperation in all fields thanks to the keenness of His Majesty the King and the Emir of Kuwait. The ambassador thanked the minister for attending and affirmed the deep-rooted relation between Bahrain and Kuwait thanks to the leaders of the two countries. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also met with his Bulgarian counterpart on the sidelines of the 52nd UN Human Rights Council high-level segment. The two sides appraised the bilateral relations and cooperation in all fields and ways to further enhance them for the benefit of the two countries and their people. They also reviewed a number of topics of common interests. Foreign Minister Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani today met in Geneva Tania Fayon, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of European and Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Slovenia. On the sidelines of his participation in the high level segment, 52nd regular session of the Human Rights Council. During the meeting, they reviewed the existing friendship relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Republic of Slovenia and ways to further boost a joint cooperation in various fields. Human rights issues of common concern were also discussed. Foreign Minister Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani today met in Geneva his Maldivian counterpart Abdullah Shahid on the sidelines of his participation in the high level segment 52nd regular session of the Human Rights Council. During the meeting, the two sides reviewed their long standing relations of friendship between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Maldives, in addition to ways to further enhance joint cooperation in various fields. Human rights issues of common concern were also discussed. The Ministry of Sustainable Development held a plenary youth discussion session to discuss the youth generation's key role in furthering sustainable development in the kingdom in the presence of Minister Rawan Tawfiqi. The outcome of the session will be included in the second National Voluntary Periodic Review of Bahrain on the implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals. The session noted the continued support of His Majesty the King and the commitment of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to promote Bahraini youth being partners in national development. The session also highlighted the role of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa in harnessing all efforts to invest in young people in young people's potential and provide all training opportunities. The Ministry of Social Development, in cooperation with the Supreme Council for Women, held a discussion session regarding Bahraini women advancement and empowerment in the presence of senior officials and international experts. The Secretary General of the SCW, Halil Ansari, delivered a brief on women advancement and the sustainable development goals, which is what the Council wants to reflect in Bahrain's second voluntary report regarding the sustainable development goals. She added that the SCW is working on achieving sustainability in regards to women empowerment in line with national, regional and international developments in order to ensure gender balance and equal opportunities. The Minister of Sustainable Development, Noor Lekhleif, said the second voluntary national report of the Kingdom of Bahrain on the Sustainable Development Goals, which will be presented during the high-level political forum on sustainable development organized by the UN in July 2023, constitutes an opportunity to highlight the efforts of Bahrain in the field of empowering women and strengthening their role, in line with the Comprehensive Development March of His Majesty the King and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. Prime Minister. 
She affirmed Bahrain's keenness to taking all measures to empower women in line with the sustainable development strategy adopted by the kingdom, which is confirmed by the adoption of a number of amendments to legislation and laws that contribute to completing the legislative system to achieve balance and gender equality, which reflects the kingdom's keenness to provide an appropriate environment for the empowerment of women. She added that women are a fundamental pillar in the sustainable development process, pointing to the launch of the Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa Global Award for Women Empowerment, which reflects the Kingdom's belief in the necessity of highlighting and appreciating individual efforts, initiatives, projects and achievements aimed at integrating women's needs and empowering them in a way that contributes to positive change in society and achieve sustainable community development. The RHF Secretary General and the head of the National Committee for Supporting Earthquake Victims in Syria and Turkey, Dr. Mustafa Sayed, held a press conference on the occasion of the return of the committee's delegation to Bahrain. Dr. Sayed stated that in light of the directives of His Majesty the King, the honorary president of the RHF and with the support of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, the Foundation and the National Committee led by His Highness, Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and implemented many aid projects in Syria and Turkey, where three shipments of urgent relief aid were sent. The delegation also visited some of the areas affected by the earthquake and noted the most important urgent needs. Dr. Sayed added that an MOU was signed with the Syrian American Medical Society to send a group of volunteer Bahraini doctors and provide some necessary medical supplies. The Speaker of the Arab Parliament and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Arab Observatory for Human Rights, Adil al assoumi delivered a speech at the opening of the eighth meeting of the Arab Observatory for Human Rights. al assoumi hailed the UN's commendation of the efforts role of the National Institute for Human Rights in Bahrain in protecting human rights and its endeavors to promote a human rights culture in Bahrain. He stressed that the commendation reflects the continuous development of the human rights system in light of the royal vision of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, which is a result of His Majesty's reform project. The Bahrain Red Extreme team is competing for the World Rally Championship title through the Abu Dhabi Desert Challenge round. Sebastian Loeb and his navigator Fabian Lukren in the Bahrain Red Extreme Pro Drive Hunter team car won second place behind Qatari Nasser Al Atiya, while Saudi Yazid Al Rajhi came in third place. Sebastian Loeb gained his activity for the second time by recording the second fastest time in yesterday's round.